Hi, everyone. <laughs> Look, Grace will. Um, Grace loves the Mystics. She's from our zone and our region, and she loves our team. And I'm very confident that um, her game, you know, she'll play play with us next year. Yeah. Sort of first, first title ever. Twenty three years the franchise has been um, together. I think. What does it make? Um, it's taken a huge village to get here, um, both on and off the court, um, and that was for our legacy players as well, um, who have laid the foundations for us. Um, it's more of a relief than anything here. Yeah. I think in that final, uh, I noticed your, your speed and ball movement up and down the court was a lot faster than the tactics, and that's a big credit to you and the defensive pressure that you were able to put on. How, how much of a differentiating factor was that speed and ball movement? Um, I think that that's the key when the pressure comes on. Um, to, that's sometimes the hardest thing to do is to keep the ball moving and keep the feet moving. I think that they were really steady, um, but I think that buffer that we got in the first quarter kind of um, held us through um, at the end of the game um, and our centre pass to score. Um, that they really steadied us in attack. You and Kate were making life very hard for the likes of Valley Bird uh, down in the circle. They were able to take shots from quite deep, especially early on. Um, was that a big part of the plan because you guys were able to get it right under the post with, with Grace? Um, there were a few times we got stuck on the bum, especially <laughs> me. Um, so we got told quite a lot to keep that movement going. Um, she's been really strong this season. She's, um, her hold has become very strong and her timing's really good. Um, and we knew that they were going to look to her because she's a strong option. Um, and that Teeps would, um, she's a very good distributor of the ball. Talk a little bit about the physicality of that game. Did you getting a bit frustrated at times? What was what were sort of the emotions uh, I think physicality is expected. I think that that's a strength. Everyone has different strengths. Some are fast, some are powerful, some have speed, some have elevation. And I think physicality or strength is a strength. Um, so I think that um, I'm really proud of that, that we have a diverse range of players on the court, both in both teams and this season. So I think that it's um, testimony to how strong the netball as a whole in New Zealand is. And the, the, sorry, uh, the tactics started to bring it back in the third quarter and the fourth quarter and you guys just really heaped on the pressure defensively in the fourth quarter. There w was there any sort of air of panic or you guys were pretty, had it under control? Um, there was an air of being exhausted. <laughs> um, I think because you just you're feeling the tension for the whole time. Um, and so I think in, in a way it's an advantage to the def defence on both sides because there's pressure when you have ball in hand. Um, so I think that both teams actually did really well in that, um, in that regard. Um, but as defence, you can use it to your advantage sometimes, that pressure. So you always um, this is Mark, she's a special part of our team. Um, she's with us heaven, in heaven, um, so in spirit, and we know that she's been in with us for this whole season, um, and she means a lot to us, and we hope that we made her proud. Did you say she's a special part of the team? Um, what sense? Um, she was our assistant coach last season, um, and she joined us in heaven this year, and um, the values that she lived by and the type of person she was, not just with netball, but as a person, and that's the type of person we want to aspire to be as women, um, not just in netball, but off the court as well. On Thursday, we talked about you know, reaching that moment in the final. You know, you talked about you guys have a similar fans at the World Cup. Yeah. Did you reach that moment? Did you saw them out there where you felt things were comfortable, things were in control? Um, when I saw Peter smiling. <laughs> in that fourth quarter when she came on. I think Cobb did really well to bring that calmness when she came on. I think that all the changes that came on, they um, added value and everyone did their job when they were on court. But when I saw her smiling in the last two minutes, um, that's when I, yeah, I felt settled. It was very fast paced. I think the skill level was very high. I mean, that's, um, that's testament to the level that both teams have. I think that they were strong throughout the, go throughout the game. They kept coming back. Um, but I think that's what finals is about. I'm really proud that that's the product of netball that we as New Zealanders put out on court. Um, and I think that that's only the beginning. Um, so if we can keep building um, throughout the competition, I think um, that'll be good for us. Uh, pride, yeah. Um, 
I'm a homegrown coach from the Northern Zone, and when I got appointed um, as the head coach of the Northern Mystics, the board wanted a coach who knew our community and our people, and who understood the, di the diversity of our zone. And it's been a long time coming, I know, and we've got some really loyal people that have supported us, but a lot of pride because these girls are playing for this team, and um, they've just done the hard work to get there. Yeah, and you uh, talk about tough times. Do you think that's created really strong characters within the team to enable you to get this win today? Yeah, absolutely. And I think we've grown up over the last few years, eh, Salou, to understand that um, there's the people piece in what we do, but there's also the performance piece, and we separate those two things out, and if you stick to the performance, then you can grow as people, and I think that's what's been lovely, just awesome to watch. And so just to you, I just want to ask you what the connection is like with, them, with the girls, because I can see some, you know, eyes and eyebrows to each other out on court. <laughs> how much does this team mean to you, and, and I guess how do you foster a really strong connection with each other? Um, we've worked really hard this season to um, have really honest performance conversations but also bring up the ugly in each other. I think sometimes that's, um, it doesn't feel nice in training, it doesn't feel nice over the season, but once you're exposed, um, that's, um, that's what we've learned in the Ferns environment and what we've really fostered here at Mystics, is you bring everything out on the table, there's nothing to hide. So when it comes to crucial games like tonight, um, that we know what we're going to get from each other. So I feel like we're really comfortable now mm. to be ourselves with each other. We have constant arguments, there's always someone crying every week. <laughs> we're deliberately trying to get it un under each other's skin, attack first D, um, and then again, like our songers, uh, you can probably hear us going at it, um, I'm comfortable to growl Peter and Maul, um, <laughs> and <laughs> Helene's comfortable to growl us all. Um, but I think if you're comfortable like that, family-wise, um, then you can only um, make each other better. And one of your messages out on court that I could hear would, would be great, be great. You're saying that to your team constantly throughout that game. What, what's the, is there a deeper meaning behind that message um, when you say that? Uh, we started the season um, with mana values and that was about uh, what we wanted to live by both on and off the court and um, when it comes to tight things like the finals with the pressure the tension um, sometimes you can close up you can get really tight your body starts you want to do what's safe but I think um, what I was really proud of the girls that they were brave they did extra work on attack they were brave to attack ball on defense and we did enough um, tactics were really strong they were going and going and going but the uh, to be brave when it's uncomfortable, when it feels yuck, um, that's always when you're going to get that beautiful thing on the other side of it. And Helene, finally from me, I just want to talk to you about MVP today, Tessa Tuiava. She really stood up um, in this game today, didn't she? She absolutely did, and um, I've got a long coaching relationship with Peter, and we have our ups and downs. We're like mother and daughter at times, and um, the thing that's been absolutely wonderful about Peter this year is she hasn't relied on other people to tell her what is possible. Um, she's realised that if she does the work herself, then the potential for her um, skill set and who she is is endless. And I've loved watching that this year. It's been awesome, eh? So, yeah. I'm really proud of her. I think that Filda started the game really well. Um, for her first season to start a grand final, I think that's huge. I was really proud of her. And I think that the difference um, when Bailey came on, then that added value as well. It changed changed the dynamics, it changed the pace. And she's really strong in her court craft. Um, and so she really released some pressure from Pete and changed the game up. So it's really nice to keep the opposition thinking. It's nice that we have um, a diverse um, bench, everyone hit, brings their own strengths, um, so I was really proud of everyone that came on court, they made a difference. How will you guys be celebrating tonight? <laughs> well, I've got control of the room. <laughs> no. She's taken the team room on purpose so that she can be there to supervise, but I feel like we might find another room. So. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we all come together with our friends and family and, um, and, and the staff of our organisation and, and celebrate together, so that's really cool, yeah. How does it sort of feel, you know, the Mystics have been talked up a lot over the years, how does it feel to finally be sitting here as a, you know, grand final winner? Uh, a lot of relief for me, personally, but um, I think when you do something for the first time, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough and, 
you have a vision and a plan in place and to stick to that vision and plan when people think you might be going awry and follow it through, that's what's um, really cool. And it's not just about the mystics for me, it's about the marvels as well in and our team and it's about how we have uh, set a program in place about high performance and so yeah, I'm just really proud of everyone who's involved in our program. Yeah. And just a reminder. Yeah. She's an exceptional young woman. Um, and to come, I think in the two and a half, three years that we've had her, to come from being someone who didn't feel like they belonged in this high performance environment to where she was today, I just think is a testament to her ability to learn, but also her maturity to, to have performance mm -hmm. conversations with the girls and she, she wants to know why, and she's really uh, curious about how she can be better. And she's had the training and the staff behind her to increase her physical uh, and her skill set. And I think there's still more to come, you know, she's so young. And um, I'm just, I just love seeing her grow. And, and yeah, mm. hey, so it's cool to see her grow. Mm. So, like, what, you, what have you seen from her as a teammate over, you know, since you first <laughs> met you? Uh, I love training against her, um, but I also love the banter off the court as well. She's got a really good bond with um, Peter, um, but also um, she's actually quite cheeky. She, and she's quite intelligent as well. So I think that um, as a 19-year-old, to be able to withstand that sort of pressure for a whole season, um, that shows the sort of, um, she's quite mature, very mature in terms of being able to handle that pressure. Um, I'm proud of her and I know that this is only the beginning. Mm. The other thing I just think to say about Grace is you know someone has potential as a shooter when they want the ball mm. and they want to be in the centre of attention in that critical moment mm. and Grace is out on court telling Peter to give her a decent ball and give her the ball and Taylor as well, yeah. both of them and I just think that's something really special. I, I can't coach that, we can't teach people that, that's in her so that's, that's what's special about her as well.